David Rim as well. David Rim as well. A national obsession. A national obsession. David Rim as well. It became an obsession. And like most obsessions, it started innocently enough. It was the long Easter weekend of April 2017. And during the long weekend, like many other homeowners, my partner Charlotte and I decided to do some good old Kiwi DIY. <laughs> Contest chair, ladies and gentlemen, you've all heard it before. DIY. It's in our DNA. And I'm sure you'll all agree that doing it yourself is a national obsession. Matter of fact, it's a rite of passage for all Kiwi homeowners. Just like a fantail climbs a tree to build a nest, our primitive human instincts urge us to build shelters, create homes, and become interior decorators. <laughs> Now my personal DIY journey started that long weekend when my partner Charlotte and I talked about what colour we should paint the walls. And that conversation went a little something like this. Hey babe, what colour should we paint the walls? How about a warm lavender mist? Mm, no. Okay, well, let's try a subtle splash of salmon peach. No. Well, a compatible cream? No. Well, what colours do you like then? Hmm. None of those. <laughs> well, we don't have to choose a colour just yet. We can do that later. First, we're going to need to rip off all this wallpaper. Now, this was our first biggest mistake. Ripping off that wallpaper. Man, do what I wish we had just painted over the wallpaper. As soon as that first little bit of paper came off the wall, there was just one word that came to my mind, and that would rhymes with truck. You see, as soon as that first bit of paper came off the wall, we were committed. Committed to the longest long weekend of our lives. <laughs> scraping wallpaper, steaming walls and scraping wallpaper, only to realise there's two more layers underneath. <laughs> <laughs> so after a long weekend stripping wallpaper, we had realised why all the previous owners had just wallpapered over the wallpaper. <laughs> and that's because underneath the wallpaper, there were huge holes in the walls. And to make matters worse, we had done such a terrible job at taking off the wallpaper, we had left gouge marks like canyons throughout the house. So, like many other Kiwi homeowners who had taken on their own DIY journey, we had realised that we needed to pay someone to fix it. <laughs> and this was our second biggest mistake! Underestimating our budget. <laughs> now, the conversation of our budget planning process went a little something like this. Hey babe, how much free cash do we have in the bank? Um, about five grand. Sweet! That'll be our budget. And if we keep to our budget, we'll still be able to book our trip to Rara. <laughs> now you see, the only problem with that is, immediately after we made our budget, the conversation which blew our budget went a little something like this. Hey mate, if we're going to get a plasterer to fix the walls in here, we'd better replace these old ceiling tiles. And if we're replacing the ceiling, we'd better insulate the house. And if we're insulating, we have to get new thermal drapes. And if we get new drapes, we cannot keep those blinds. 
And if we're doing that, why don't we give you down lights and your roll lights and your light switches? Oh, and those fancy little USB wall plugs. Oh, well, while we're doing that, let's get matching door handles and hinges. Here, let's just get new doors. And rather than the decorating, let's just get a new kitchen. And if we get a new kitchen, let's get all new kitchen appliances. Well, I think it's safe to say we are not going to Raro anytime soon. <laughs> So we had our list of renos to do, we got all our quotes ready, and the tradies were just about to start. But before they did, I had a conversation with a builder that went a little something like this. <laughs> hey mate, how long do you reckon it'll take to finish our job? <laughs> oh mate, she's only a small job. It'll only take a couple of weeks. <laughs> now this was our last biggest Mistake! When it comes to timelines, no matter what they say, never, ever, ever trust anything a tradie ever tells you. A couple of weeks, two weeks, two weeks was just the beginning. For two weeks, we had no power and no lights in our kitchen or our living room. For two weeks, if you wanted to access power for anything, you literally had to walk around the house with an extension cord, a multi-box, and a spotlight. <laughs> Imagine this, you get home from work in the evening, you want a cup of tea, sure thing, just walk over to the kitchen, extension cord, multi-box, spotlight, plug in the kettle, make yourself a cup of tea. Ah, oh, but now you want to watch some TV. Unplug the kettle, walk over to the TV, plug in the TV. <laughs> just the electrical work took two weeks. And as the weeks agonizingly turned into months. Our front yard had become a demolition yard and the piles of dust were growing by the day and we had grown to accept we'd be living in a construction site for the rest of our lives. <laughs> Fast forward, present day. Over six months later and we have our new ceiling, we have some insulation, New LED down lights and wall lights. We got matching light switches and those fancy USB wall plugs. We still don't have any door handles, but we, our windows, our curtains, and our blinds have just gone up. The kitchen plans are being finalized. And as for those walls, wow, they've all been freshly repainted. And after all this effort, what color did we decide to paint the walls? Why Nui Amata? WHITE! 